When you're measuring a part, how do you know you're measuring it correctly? You grab the right instrument, you think, but how do you know that that instrument has enough precision in it to measure your part correctly? Well, that's when you need to know the four to one rule. And that's what this video is about and how to select the right measurement instrument using the four to one rule and we'll get into it next. So what is the four to one rule? The four to one rule is when you have your part, say this rectangle, and you have a dimension on that part, say four inches, you always have a tolerance associated with that dimension because nothing's perfect in this world. Everything has a tolerance. So you will normally see a tolerance plus or minus two thou or so. In this case, we'll use plus or minus two thou. That plus or minus two thousands is the part tolerance. That's, you know, you're allowed to go two thousands above four inches and two thousandths below. So we will need to know that part tolerance in order to be able to calculate the precision of the instrument that we need to use. So we have plus or minus two thou and we divide that by four for the four to one rule, which gives us a plus or minus of a half a thou or five ten thousandths of an inch. So we will need to select a instrument and in this case a micro, I have a micrometer to have an advertised accuracy of plus or minus five ten thousandths of an inch. Now as a note on micrometers, often people will look for the minimum uh, readout. In this case, this is a tenth micrometer, so it's, it's got one ten thousandths divisions on it, and they'll think that that's the accuracy of it. That is not always the case. You will need to go to the manufacturer's website or documentation and get what the advertised accuracy of this instrument is. It is often not the, the minimum divisions because there's other things that affect the accuracy of the instrument and it depends on whether like Mitutoyo will calculate that in. Also, make sure that your instruments are calculated or calibrated um, correctly every year to make sure that they're measuring correctly because they will get worn out and even this one has carbide anvils, they'll get worn out and um, you need to make sure that it's calibrated. So in this case we need a, a, a measurement instrument to measure this part of plus or minus five ten thousandths of an inch and this is plus or minus one ten thousandths of an inch. So this will work and in this case and be plenty accurate for this. But if we had like say a, a, a caliper, often calipers will be like plus or minus a thousandths of an inch and so a caliper wouldn't be good enough, it wouldn't be accurate enough to measure this part correctly. There might be some errors and you might have that error, you know, make your part too big or too small. So that's the four to one rule. There is one other thing to note. Often measurements will be high and low. So in this case, a high of four inches and two thousandths and a low of four, in, oh well, a low of three inches. Three inches, nine, nine, eight. Nine hundred and ninety-eight thousandths. 
So that gives you the same kind of tolerance, it's just written in a different way. So if you use this, you'll get that. You'll get four thousandths of an inch as your total tolerance, not your plus or minus tolerance. So in this case, you take your total tolerance, divide by four, and you get a total tolerance of one thousandths of an inch. That is the same as the plus or minus five ten thousandths of an inch. It's just written as a total tolerance. So you need to keep that in mind. So I hope this clears up the four to one rule for you and it gives you better measurements in the future. Um, if you like this video, please like or subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.